Welcome to Unveiling Your Dreams. So, do we really dream every night? Uh, yes. You know, many folks don't think they dream often or at all. <laughs> but what if our dreams were trying to offer us guidance every night of our lives and we missed it? You know, in our fast-paced world, many people have lost touch with our intuition. A moving force in our lives, which many ignore, just like dreams. Dreams are so bizarre. You know, like things are out of sequence. Sometimes they're even downright scary. Aw, the fairy and the angelfish, like who's in whose space here? That's kind of dreamy like. Yeah, and places you've quote, never been before? Hmm. So much goes on in dreams. I think that's why they're so hard to remember. My goodness, it's like many stories in one little short time span. How can you even keep up? Sometimes they're very sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Mom and daughter. And then things get kind of weird and they get kind of, you know, put into the negative. You know, and here's another image of gold panner daytime and then it gets kind of weird coloration Did you notice there's often kind of weird colors in your dreams and and then suddenly here's the gold panner doing his thing at night yeah sometimes time is not really relevant and here's the heron and the other heron making heron's heart. So, how can I make sense of these dreams anyway? Things get mirrored and turned around. And sometimes they're pretty fanciful and things are out of place like this lady who's part of a tree so there's lots of pictures in our dreams did you ever notice that but not much sound so how do dreams fit into our world anyway well let's say the universe and our minds are Holographic. Oh, it's holographic? Oh, you know. You've heard the term. You've seen holograms on credit cards for years. Well, maybe do a little research because it's a scientific principle which in fact explains the oneness of all things. There's the implicate, which is the implied order, and the explicate that which we can touch and see and feel. Uh, what? Huh? Okay, so the implicate order is basically like your superconscious, and the 
expletive order is like your conscious self, like I said, you know, where you see and touch and use your five senses. Now, if you break a hologram, you can still see the whole image, the essence of the whole image in each piece. So, if the whole is contained in each part, is this beginning to sound familiar? Yeah, well, then separation is a myth. And as someone famous said in recent times, There's no place that God isn't. So how can our dreams be somewhere out there? If indeed they are not only a part of us, They are us. They stir within us the language of our dreams. You guessed it. That would be our feelings or our emotions. You probably remember the dreams that leave you upon waking with a strong emotion. That's your high self or super conscious or God self working hard to get your attention. So what are you going to do about it? Ha! Here are your tips. Just ask before you go to sleep. Like first, maybe through a prayer, then coercion, like, come on, let's get on with it. And then a command. Some part of your psyche will get that. So, cause you're actually planting seeds. But you gotta be consistent. Just keep up with it every night and bring a big notepad to bed. Now place it with a pen, maybe even attached next to your pillow or maybe even under it. Whether during the night or in the morning when you feel like you've just dreamed, here's the kicker, leave your eyes closed. Huh? While you sleep, the veil goes up. When you awaken, the veil comes crashing down. So here's a couple more tips. When you think you've had a dream, turn your body like a quarter turn in your bed, kind of like an antenna, and then Ask your higher self, kind of like you just missed part of a conversation, and say, pardon, what was that again, please? And then whatever you hear in your head, write, write it right now. With your dream coach, you'll learn to decipher the language of your dreams. We <laughs> that cute <laughs> add the voice to our dreams, to the pictures in our dreams. By the way, all the art stuff you've seen is mine. Yep, I did all this. <laughs> so that our higher self downloads to us every night. 
By the way, we dream every hour and a half. It's proven. So it's time to really use that intuition. Dreams are, you know, along the intuitive lines. So the language of your dreams can be very subtle. You may need to listen very closely to your own words. I would say the wording that you hear in your head about your dream that you just had is extremely important. And then note your feelings. Write them down. Maybe record them by voice. But this is the most important key to translating your dream symbols. Well, I sure thank you for watching and listening. Your dream coach, Sunshower Rose. Unveiling your dreams.